under the old order, who was the mediators between God and the children of Israel? It was the high priest. We now have a new high priest now, and that's Jesus Christ. He is now our high priest. That's why you don't have to sacrifice animals anymore, because Christ became the sacrifice for Israel. And he came to teach his father. So who are the children of Israel? You so-called Negroes. But you don't know that because you call yourself a color of a crayon, black. There's no such thing as a color of a crayon when naming nations. You are the children of Israel. That's who you are. Right. Not African Americans. Come on. For such an, an high priest became us who is holy. So this new high priest is what? Who is holy? He is holy, meaning he is set apart. He's pure. Come on. Harmless. This man is harmless. Come on. Undefiled. So Christ is also undefiled. Come on. Separate from sinners. This man Christ is separate from sinners. Come on. Made and holy. made higher than the heavens. And he's made higher than the heavens. Surely this can't be no Levite on the earth today. No high priest on the earth today. Because this new high priest is made higher than the heavens. Come on. Who needed not daily as those high priests. So he needed not daily as those high priests. What did they do daily? Sacrifice. Come on. To offer up sacrifice. Come on. First for his own sins. So in Leviticus chapter 16, we need that the high priest. They sacrificed animals not only for their sins. Because they was defiled, right? He said, but they suck in this man. Read that again. Verse 26. Oh, I ain't gonna make it like yes. yeah. 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 Who needed not Lord daily Lord. as those high priests to offer up sacrifice Come on. for his own sin and then for the people. So the people, what people did he talking about? The children of Israel. Come on. For this, he did once when he offered up himself. So this Christ did once when he offered up himself. That's why we don't know, we no longer have to do those offerings, the meat offerings, the grain offerings, the peace offerings, the drink offerings. Christ is now that offering. Okay, also when we talking about Christ being the high priest, if we no longer have to make sacrifices for our sins because he did it once and that he is now the ultimate high priest, that means that the priesthood is done away with. So there's no more Levitical priesthood. So if the priesthood being done away with, tithes were paid to the Levites. So now, if we do not have a priesthood to pay tithes to, who you spending your money with? Now, let's break out what he's talking about here. Let's back it up in that same chapter, verse 5. Because the Levites under the old order had the commandment to take tithes according to the Levitical priesthood. Come on. Hebrews 7 and 5. Let's get it. And verily, and verily, which means truly, come on. Or diligently. They that are of the sons of the Levi. So those people who are the sons of the descendants of Levi, who was the third son of Israel, who was called Levites, like Moses, who was a Levite, Exodus chapter 2. They who are the sons, the, the descendants of Levi, come on. Who received the office of the priesthood. So we see right here that the Levites were the ones who received the office of the priesthood. Come on. Have a commandment. So the, these Levites had commandments. They had laws. The same laws that Paul was saying that we not under. These Levites had laws. Read that one more time. Verse 5. And verily, they that are the sons of Levi who receive the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes. So they were the ones who had the commandments to take tithes. Let that sink in. Why do you think there was no collection of tithes in the New Testament? So all the preachers today got to make sure they commanded to collect that. Exactly. Then. You know, so they like to twist certain scriptures that Paul is writing. So like 1 like, Corinthians 16, how he took up a collection. They have to be Levitical. Week, the first day of the week, but that collection was for the saints and it went to Jerusalem. Paul didn't collect it for himself. But come on. And they had storehouse. Have a commandment to take tithes right. of the people according to the law. So they the ones who have the commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law. What law? The Levitical laws. It's common sense. Come on. That is of the brethren. That is of their brethren. Who are their brethren? The other 11 tribes. Come on. 
Though they come out of the loins of Abraham. Though they come out of the bloodline of Abraham. Come on. But he whose descendant is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. Come on. And blessed him that had the promise. So what is he talking about here? To understand that fully, you have to read Genesis the 14th chapter when Abraham met Melchizedek when he returned from the slaughter. So when you read in Hebrews 7 about how Abraham gave him a tenth part, because preachers will use that scripture. That was the spoils of war. Read Genesis the 14th chapter to understand Hebrews 7. 